Hello my fellow Archons, and welcome to another display opening video. So last time we opened up an entire Call of the Archons display. Today, however, we are opening up six decks out of this mass mutation display right here. And then on Monday, I'm going to be uploading another video where I open up the other six decks out of this display. So mass mutation is exciting because there are all sorts of really neat and unique rare cards out there, and also those unique special rarity cards that we can pull. Um, so I think what we're really looking for is maybe some gigantic creatures, the Sins, a Dark Ember Vault deck, there's all sorts of options, and also the uh, enhancements. Hopefully we can pull some really neat enhancements. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the opening. Let's uh, get started with our very first deck right here. First deck of six. I'm very excited to see what we open up today. All right, so we have House Shadows, House Sanctum, and House Dis. All right. The name, Lemur Liver, <laughs> Lemur Liver, she who separates the manse. I don't know what manse is, but besides that, this name is amazing. Lemur Liver, she who separates the manse. We can definitely get some exciting stuff in Houses Dis Sanctum and Shadows, um, so I'm excited to see what's in here. Let's open it up. By the way, I've also never opened a Dark Ember Vault deck before, so I'm hoping that in this 12 pack that we have here that I open up one of those because that would be that'd be really really cool I've heard great things about that artifact especially when you get a deck with lots of mutant creatures in it so we'll see if I end up with one of those let's put the Archon card off to the side here starting off with perplexing sophistry all right if you have more ember than your opponent they discard a random card from their hand and you draw a card interesting perplexing sophistry old Bruno love to see old Bruno double old Bruno beautiful Triple old Bruno right off the bat. We are starting off strong with this deck. Oh my word. Lucky Dice. Lights out. Vandalize. Subtle Auto. You gotta love to see Subtle Auto. Red Penny. Nexus. Double Nexus. Mug. Eye of Judgment. Very neat artifact here. Baldric the Bold. Angry Mob. Oh great, it's an Angry Mob deck. Double. Triple, ang triple Angry Mob, Ember Heart, Squire Alice, Seeker of Truth, Double Seeker of Truth, Fangs of Gizzle Art, Ardent Hero, Double Ardent Hero. Hey, Red Hot Armor. Each enemy creature with armor loses all of its armor until the end of the turn and is dealt one damage for each point of armor it lost this way. That's a pretty neat card. Picaroon, nice. Cinder, Mind Fire, Double Mind Fire, Infernus, awesome. Double Infernus, Inspector, um, Drekker, Dominator Bobble, Bone Saw, and Bone Saw. I'm excited to give this one a shot. Lemur Liver, She Who Separates the Mance. Deck number one, done. All right, let's move on to deck number two. All right, so for deck number two, we have a Purple Archon. Very neat. And we have Star Alliance. Logos and Sanctum. All right. And the name, Boss Stilt Name Nguyen. Nguyen? <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. What a weird, what a weird name. All right. We will set the Archon card down over there. Let's see if this deck truly is a boss. Starting out with a Lyco Alien with a Capture Pip. Disruption Field. That's what we like to see. Xeno Training. LCDR Trigon. Reap, discard the top card of your deck. Reveal that card's bonus icons as if you had played it. I'm not a huge fan of that card simply because you have to discard the top card of your deck, but I mean, in some situations that could be really useful though. Antony, all right. Teleporter Chief Chink, Chink. Teleporter Chief Tink, Sensor Chief Garcia, Scout Pete, Red Alert, Observe you Max, Crewman Yorg, uh, Commander Chan, and onto Sanctum with a Lyco Knight, Mad Prophet Gizzleheart. While Mad Prophet Gizzleheart is in the center of your battle line, it gains action, fully heal each non-mutant creature, gain one ember for each creature healed this way. I like him. He's he's pretty all right. If you want to hear more about him and uh, see him ranked alongside all the other leaders in the game, then I would recommend checking out my video on the Ember Media's YouTube channel that ranks every single uh, Keyforge House leader. I will provide a link to that video in the description below. Scrivener Fabian. Gizzleheart standard with the capture. You know, that's kind of nice. With uh, each friendly creature um, with ember on it getting one, plus one armor, you can put a, uh, an ember on one of your creatures. 
straight away with that capture bonus icon, in addition to exalting with the play effect. That's pretty cool. Baldrick the Bold, Emberheart with the capture, the Grey Rider, Squire Alice, Smite, General Zavador, Fangs of Gizzleheart, Commandeer. And onto Logos with an Umberbot, Sacrobot with a capture bonus icon. Whoa! Zenzi Zenzi Zenzik! Super cool, we got two leaders in this deck. Now this guy, top tier leader. I love this guy. I'd say offers way, way more utility than uh, Mad Prophet Gizzleheart does. But uh, that's super exciting to have two leaders, and particularly this guy. I don't know if I have any decks with Zenzi in them. Novu Dynamo, Titan Engineer, Double Titan Engineer, Triple Titan Engineer. So that's some real good key control. If I can build out a really big battle line and have these guys like never on a flank, then I could get keys costing up to like, what, nine or something? Eclectic Inquiry, Daughter with a Capture Bonus Icon, Double Daughter, Demobot, and Auto Encoder. Wow, this deck actually looks really neat. Um, first off, <laughs> Double Daughter with the Zenzi, drawing up to four extra cards in a turn if I can set things up right. That is, that's really cool. There's good capture in this deck, um, particular, particularly with the Squire Alice and the capture bonus icons. Oh, man, and the auto encoder, I'm just wondering where discarding might happen in this deck to make the auto encoder really go off. But uh, man, I, I like this deck. I think this deck is pretty neat. Uh, Sensor Chief for some more key control, the Observing Max, Red Alert for some board control, Antony. Dude, the board control in this deck is actually, or not board control, the ember control in this deck is actually not bad. I'm excited to give this one a shot. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments. I'm sure you guys see some stuff that I probably missed, especially since I'm really flying through these decks, I'm not really taking a lot of time to analyze these. Boss, stilt name, something, Niguyuan. I'm just gonna go with that for now. <laughs> All right, on to deck three. All right, opening up deck number three with the green Archon. Let's see what we've got. Saurian. Untamed, all right, and Shadows. That's a pretty potent combo right there. Deck name, The Athlete That Marks The Pack. <laughs> the Athlete That Marks The Pack. What does that even mean? Um, well, I guess we're about to see. Let's open it up. All right, here we go with The Athlete That Marks The Pack. What have we in here? Starting off with Dino Beast. All right, very nice. Wild Bounty. Trimble. Lodon, okay. Fangtooth Cavern. Oh, great. Bumblebird. Emberspine Mongrel, okay, that's good. Reclaimed by Nature. Pismire. Gloriana's Attendant, so that means there's going to be some extra Ember in here. Very nice. Fandangle. And a Demo Beast, okay. On the Shadows with a Lyco Thief. Safe Place, very neat. Oh, great. Not a Pincerator. Jeez. Miasma Bomb. Rad Penny, okay. Rad Penny with the Pincerator, that's not bad. Double Rad Penny with the Pincerator, that's really nice. Nexus, Double Nexus, Triple Nexus, this one with an Enhanced Bonus Icon. Mug, look over there, with a Capture Bonus Icon, that's nice. Bone Iving, and onto Saurian with Sacrosaurus. Monument to Primus, Tertiate, Exile, ooh, interesting. Dreadbone Decimus, Galia Tops, Defense Initiative, Cornice and Octavia, whoa! Console Primus with the double ember. That is super cool. Beware of the Ides. Axiom of Grisk with an ember. That's interesting. And Axiom of Grisk without the ember. Very cool. This that's an exciting deck. I really like that Console Primus with the double the double ember. That's super cool. This exile is interesting. I'm trying to think of what we'd want to exile. Maybe like the Cornice and Octavia. Sorry, I keep moving the cards way up here where you can't see them. Um, maybe like the Cornice and Octavia, though that could be kind of tough to get off the board. Exile? Yeah, interesting. What would we put there? I'm, I'm sure there are lots of options. Again, I'm not really analyzing this stuff too closely right now. But the Pincerator with the Double Red Penny, that is really, really nice. Um, Safe Place is pretty okay. Yeah, this deck actually looks like a lot of fun. Um, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, overall, pretty decent deck. I like this. There's some decent board control in here, too, with the Tertiate. I mean, that doesn't do a whole lot of board control, at least not that I've seen. It's a little iffy sometimes. Miasma Bomb is really nice. Um, Fandangle and Pismire to put some threats out on the board that the opponent has to deal with. 
also that Ember Spine Mongrel. If Bumblebird comes out at a decent time, it'll be nice putting plus two power on Ember Spine Mongrel, Fandangle, Pismire, things like that. Um, yeah, and Wild Bounty. If only there is a way to get the Wild Bounty to be played right before Console Primus, that would be really nice, but I don't really see any ways to do that in this deck. Anyway, you guys will have to let me know about the athlete that marks the pack. Let's move on to the fourth deck. All right, here we go with deck number four. We have a red Archon. I like me a good red Archon. We have House Sanctum, House Star Alliance, and House Untamed. I'm always excited to open up Untamed because I don't have any Nifikong decks. I have a couple Ultra Gravitron decks and uh, a couple Deuceless decks, but no Nifikong. And we have Phydron, the Cold Haven Adept. Cool. <laughs> Alright, Phydron, what do you have in store for us? Let's take a look at what we've got. Starting off with an Earthbind, this creature cannot be used unless this controller has discarded a card this turn. Hmm. So that's definitely one that you would want to put on an opponent's creature. Or the opponent's creatures. Um, that's pretty neat. I like that one. Earthbind. Fangtooth Cavern. Ooh, Commune with a Capture Bonus Icon. Lose all of your Ember, gain four Embers and Omega. Interesting. Bumblebird with a Capture? You've got to be kidding me. I don't want my Capture Bonus Icons on a Bumblebird. Oh, well. Song of the Wild. Double Song of the Wild. Give me a Ghost Hawk, please. Resurgence. <clears throat> Pismire. Double Pismire. Niffleape. Dark Fairy. Damo Beast. And on to Star Alliance with the Dino Alien. Ooh, Peace Accord. Play, each player gains two Ember. After a player fights with a creature, they lose four Ember. Destroy Peace Accord. Interesting. I have a deck with two of these in it. And uh, it is really weird. I, even a deck with one of them is kind of funky. I, I don't really know how to play with this artifact correctly. Um, so I would love to learn how to. So it's pretty neat that I got another one of these. Peace Accord. Oh, Hapless Cadet. Three power taunt. Your opponent loses... Three Ember. Look at my man here. <laughs> Your opponent loot. That's pretty cool. Anyway, Xeno Training. Teleporter Chief Tink. Double. Subdue. Secure Droid. Scout Pete. Explore Rover. Explore Rover. Crewman Yorg. And on to Sanctum with Charge. Purify. Equalize. The Grey Rider with a Capture. Smite. General Zalvador. Zalvador. Fangs of Gizelhart. Commandeer. Champion Anaphiel with a Capture. Another champion in with a capture, an ardent hero with a draw. Kind of interesting that both these champion in have capture on them, so that's kind of cool. Providing some good ember control all around in this deck with the capture bonus icons. Equalize is nice to go with those. Um, overall, this deck looks kind of, I don't know, meh to me? Like, with the piece of cord and everything? I don't know if this deck, I don't know. Like, does it want to reap? Does it want to fight? Like, the smite makes it looks like it makes it look like it wants to fight. Also with the gray rider. Um, yeah, that's interesting. This deck seems too slow to really warrant a good piece of chord play. I don't really know though. I might just be talking smoke. <laughs> if that's even a phrase, talking smoke. I mean, the song of the wild is really nice. Double song of the wild, I mean. Um, could be good for some real ember burst that would be that'd be nice i think yeah i don't know you guys will have to let me know your thoughts on this one i don't really know what to make of this deck this one's really funky it's easy analyzing call of the archons but mass mutation is a whole different beast i tell you what if i draw on the cold haven adept what do you guys think all right guys we are moving on to deck number five i'm still we're still looking for dark ember vault we're still looking for gigantic creatures we're still looking for i don't know sins there's still a lot of potential here. Let's open up the fifth deck. All right, deck number five. Let's see what we've got. Logos, Saurian, and Untamed. We have three entire opportunities to open up a gigantic creature in this one. Topaz, Aya, Old School, Ichikawa. <laughs> That's a pretty cool name. Topaz, Aya, Old School, Ichikawa. Topaz matches the Archon color, that's for sure. Old school. I wonder how old school this deck is really going to be. Let's open it up and find out. We have Xenobeast, right off the bat. 
Wow, Ember Lucian. Okay, Omega. Play destroy each creature. Each player reveals their hand and puts each creature from their hand into play ready. Super weird card. Troop Call, interesting. Uh, another commune. <laughs> All right. I don't think I've ever opened a deck with a commune in it. So now that I have two right in a row, that's uh, kind of interesting. Oh, great. Bumblebird, double Bumblebird. God. Reclaimed by nature with an extra bonus ember. Pismire. Niffleape. <laughs> One single Niffleape to go with that troop call. All right. Keyfrog. Gloriana's attendant. And a Floomph. Let's go, Floomph. Undasaurian with a monument to Faust that has a draw. Senator Brachus with an ember bonus and a draw bonus. Holy cow. You may spend ember on friendly creatures as if it were in your pool. Fight Reef, Exalt Senator Brachus. Whew. Those are some enhancements on my boy there. Wow. That's really neat. Saurus Rex, the leader. Very nice. Fight Reap. If Saurus Rex is in the center of your battle line, you may exalt it. If you do, search your deck for a Saurian card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. Very cool. Gladiodontus. Ancient Power. That'll be nice with Senator Brachus. Sagittarius Gaze. Oh, whoa! Sagittarius Gaze with a draw. Sagittarius Gaze with a draw and damage. These Sagittarius Gazes are really crazy. This one is nice because it damages the creature you'd want to exalt. So that's that's cool. Wow. Okay then. Galeotops. Foss the Great with the Capture. Awesome place to have that. Double Foss the Great. Cornus and Octavia. Consul Primus. And onto Logos with an Umbrabot. A Fission Bloom. Discombobulator. Very nice. Standardized Testing. Quicks of the Adventurer. Munchling. Infomorph. Double Infomorph. Even Ivan with a damage. Eclectic Inquiry. Daughter with a draw. And another auto encoder. Wow, this deck looks really neat. Um, good placements for draw. Well, I mean, all right placements for draw bonus icons, I guess. Um, some good efficiency with those draw bonus icons. The Eclectic Inquiry. Um, all those draw icons are coming from these Infomorphs, which is cool. This combibulator is really nice. Fission Bloom. What what bonus icons do we have to go with that Fission Bloom? Oh, Fission Bloom with the draw for double draw. Eclectic Inquiry. Maybe double damage with the even Ivan. Uh, that's about it, really. I think that'd be really nice to go with the uh, draw. These two Sagittarius Gazes are super cool. I love those the, the, the uh, triple enhancement on this one and the double enhancement. Or I guess double and single, however you want to look at it. Um, double Foss the Great. One of them having the... Uh, Capture bonus icon. That's nice to get the keys cost in plus two instantly. And then you can spend all that ember with the Senator Brackus, who has those super cool enhancements. Very, very neat. Floomph, my favorite creature in the game. Oh yeah, reclaimed by nature with double, that's cool. I'm just super disappointed with this Dumble Dumble Bumblebird. Uh, double Bumblebird. Um, and commune. Interesting. Troop Call with a single Niffle Ape is a little disappointing. Ember Lucian for that Panic Board Wipe if I really need it. Um, but yeah, overall, looks like a pretty neat deck. Solid. Topaz. I like this guy. Alright, we are moving on to the last deck for this video. Deck number six. Remember to tune in on Monday for the remaining six decks of this pack that we'll be opening up. Uh, but for now, let's just uh, dive into this one here. Alright, deck number six. Halfway through this display. Oh, Purple Archon. Could be something wonderful. This, Shadows, and Star Alliance. That's a nice combina combination of houses. Heartleg, Graveyard Pest. Oh, geez. <laughs> Graveyard Pest. I wonder if we will be bringing lots of stuff back from the discard pile or something. And with this, that's definitely a possibility with like uh, Grim Reminder and Stern Grave, stuff like that. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. Heartleg, Graveyard Pest. Starting it off with an Ensign Elsamra, Ensign El Elsamra, however you say that. Enhanced triple draw, oh my gosh. Action, reveal a card from your hand, resolve its bonus icons as if you had played it. This, in my opinion, although being one power less, is the superior version of LCDR Trigon to me. Because you don't have to discard the card, you just reveal it from your hand. And you can do it over and over if you keep that card in your hand. Um, but then again, situations vary. Maybe you do want to discard that card, who knows. Ensign Elsamra, awesome. Universal Translator with a draw icon. Hayden Oswin. Nice. Double Hayden Oswin. This one with a damage. Teleporter Chief Tank. Survey. Red Alert. Wow. Adding even more draw pips. Now we're at four. Red Alert. Uh, Red Alert. Explore Rover. 
Explore Rebirth, a draw. Blast Shielding. Access Denied. That is not what you want to see with a Hayden Oswin. Oh, well. Uh, Onto Shadows with a Safe House. Lucky Dice. Lucky Dice with a draw. Booby Trap. Seeker Needle. Mutant Cut Purse. Nasty. Gamgee. Francis the Economist. Francis the Economist. Oh, no. Triple Francis the Economist. What is wrong with this deck, man? Dark Wave with the Capture Bonus Icon. Bone Knithing. And on to Disc. Maybe the Disc can redeem this deck a little bit. Xenophine with a draw. Or, not a draw. A damage. Hand of Disc. Yo! All right. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. That's amazing. The Disc absolutely has redeemed this deck. This is a legacy from Call of the Archons. Holy cow. Hand of Disc in a Mass Mutation deck. That is so cool. That's so cool. Hand of Disc. With the True Brew? Are you serious? What a combo. Hand of Disc. Destroy a creature that is not on a flank. True Brew. Destroy gain 5 Ember. Holy cow. I mean, obviously True Brew. I mean, this, this has its pros and cons for sure. But, I mean, that's a pretty cool combo. And this is Legacy. I just can't get over that. Shadow of This. Very neat card. Whale of the Damned with a damage. Obsidian Forge. My favorite key cheat. Grim Reminder. Anguish. Mark of Dis with a draw. Double Mark of Dis. Implosion. And Dominator Bubble. Holy cow. This deck. What a way to end. What a way to end this video. What a cool deck to finish things off with. Double Mark of Dis. Super, super cool. Grim Reminder is really nice. Obsidian Forge is great. I j I'm just really stoked about this <laughs> legacy hand of this all the way back from Call of the Archons. That's really neat. And I mean, hand of this usually is used to destroy like enemy creatures, I feel like. I mean, so maybe the hand of this trooper combo isn't like super something to pop off about like I did. But I mean, I think I still think that's really neat. And I really love trooper. He's a super neat creature. The shadows is just complete crap. I don't like the shadows at all. The Star Alliance looks pretty cool, especially with the double Hayden Oswin. And I'm trying to think here. This Ensign Elsamra. Who do I? Who? who what card would I want to reveal with that? Maybe the Mark of Dis with some extra stuff. I mean, it all depends really. If I need some extra Ember control, maybe the Dark Wave. Very, very cool. Legacy and of Dis. Triple Francis makes me so sad. So those are the six decks that we are opening in this video. On Monday, I will be uploading the second half of this video where we open the remaining six decks of this display. But I mean, as of right now, you guys will just have to let me know what you guys think of uh, these six decks. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all again for the remaining half of this display. See y'all later.